What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh, back with another look into the downright zestiest roast on the internet. Also, I think I want to change my video intro, so let me know in the comments if that's a good idea. Waiters, what Valentine's Day disasters have you witnessed? I walked up to a table and was about to drop off the bill, caught the end of, it's over. Guy looked at me dead in the eye and said to quote, split that f***ing check right now. What's the best way to tell someone that their baby is ugly? How about a, oh, they look just like you. Guys really live in apartments like this and don't see any issue. What? What's the roast? I don't see the roast in this post. Where? where where's the punch? Oh, the arrow with this. I couldn't have found that comment without it. It drives women crazy that men just sit and be happy. Thank God someone drew a fucking janky ass circle to the single comment in the screenshot so I can fucking read the joke. God damn. Meat clown. Oh, God. I'm morbidly curious. I showed this picture to my boyfriend and asked jokingly if he would ever think to cut a hole in its mouth and fuck the baloney clown. And he told me he already fucks a baloney clown while patting my back. TLDR? Today, my boyfriend murdered me in cold blood. Now, it's not the same as a bologna clown, but I was actually in Germany a few years back, and I had the pleasure of eating a bologna teddy bear. And let me just say, I don't know how they made it. I don't want to know how they made it. But that sh slaps. Ah, great, a tweet from PETA. This is gonna go well. Hashtag Steve Irwin was killed while harassing a ray. He dangled his baby while feeding a crocodile and wrestled wild animals who were minding their own business. Today's hashtag Google Doodle sends a dangerous fawning message. Wild animals are entitled to be left alone in their natural habitats. You're like that kid who wasn't invited to the party but came anyway and sh in the pool just to get a reaction. Ah yes, a tweet from a famous YouTuber. I can't wait to see all of the comments saying, Oh my god, it's that big YouTuber I know from that other channel. What brings you to Tinder Town then? Ew. He said Tinder Town? <laughs> what the f? <laughs> What's your favorite sci fi? I support the National Socialist Party. Hitler did nothing wrong. I'm getting my name legally changed to Adolf. Women are holes for breeding. Blacks are slaves, and gays, Jews, and cripples should be gassed. Hint for not getting harassed by your next match. Either unmatch if you have no intention of messaging or don't like them. Ghosting bitches like you are the reason incels exist. I have a life and I don't check Tinder every five seconds. So you and other people might have to wait a day or two for a reply. Interestingly, you are the only person that spewed abuse at me. So I can only imagine that you are single due to your personality rather than your looks. Incels exist because they are either not intelligent enough or mature enough to realize that Women do not exist solely to entertain them, and judging by your reaction, you're a card-carrying member. Yeah, forget all the Nazi baiting stuff. This man led with the word Tinder Town and expe he expected a reply. What's a sign that you're unattractive? Well, a friend of mine tried to kiss a girl at a party. She replied, I'm not drunk enough for that, then proceeded to vomit on the floor and passed out. Millennial dads have pathetic DIY skills compared to baby boomers. Oh, that's a cute picture of a dog, kind of unrelated, but I like it. And baby boomers have pathetic blacksmithing skills compared to 9th century Saxons. Your point, New York Post? Hey, uh, police Twitter account, can I get pulled over if my rear number plate is unreadable because of a bit of mud? Hi, redacted, yes, you can get pulled over as front and rear number plates must be securely affixed and readable at all times. Oh dear, that's what I thought. Tesco's in Skegness, 1239 today. I would give you the registration number of the police car, but uh, as you can tell, I can't read it. When someone praises socialism. Oh, what is that owl doing? Owl expert here, ornithologist. That owl is, in fact, orgasming. Well, that man did clarify that owl expert is called an ornithologist, so I have to trust him. But I'm so interested in the idea of owls orgasming like that, I'm gonna Google it anyway. Uh, a Snopes article? It's fake? But the internet can't lie. How should I respond to my boss who fired me via email and let him know that I'm very disappointed that he did not have the courtesy to do this face to face? We work from different states, but always communicate through video calls? Dear boss, thought you'd want to know someone has apparently hijacked your email account. The hacker just fired me. Obviously a transparent attempt to make you look like a 
gutless, spineless, cowardly, sniveling weasel, a cretin lacking the nuts to man up and look his people in the eye while stabbing them in the back. But I'm certain we'll all have a good laugh over this in the morning. Talk to you then. Love me. Yeah, after you sign that fucking email, love, if I was the boss, I'd be like, nope, that was me. You're fired. In 20 years, our kids are going to look at pictures of us and tell us how stupid we all look in our ultra boosts and track pants. And why 20 years? You look like an idiot now. Yep, the username checks out. When your fake ID works, oh yeah, living it up in the club. In the, in the fucking bar, look at me with alcohol, oh yeah. It's because you look 34, of course you'd get in with a fake, come on. When I asked Quentin how he wants us to play two aging movie guys who are on their way out, he said, just be yourselves. I challenge any game maker to come up with a game that rewards kids to be empathetic to situations involving other players or game characters and rewards them for kind gestures and behaviors and also positively reinforces kindness, politeness, and constructively can solve problems. Journey, Undertale, Stardew Valley, the entire Fallout series, Minecraft, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, the vast majority of role-playing games made by Bioware, would you like recommendations? I can keep going, Penny. We can find one to suit your taste, I'm sure. Y'all want to talk about Murdered by Words in a video a super long time, probably over a year ago, right? It referenced Undertale, a post referenced Undertale, and I said, I don't watch anime. <laughs> Boy, did I get f***ing flamed in the comments of that one. But, will you be my Valentine, please? I am desperate. Oh, don't worry, mate. If you're sad about being alone on Valentine's Day, then you should remember that nobody loves you on any other day of the year, either. Yo, almost had to clap up Zane from One Direction because he's a little guy and has an attitude and basically told me to fuck off for no reason when I was being nice to him. Zane, I know you're reading this. Stop being angry because you came home alone to your big ass hotel room. Okay, because he doesn't care to hang out with you and your embarrassing crew of YouTube groupies? Home alone with his best friends like a respectful king because he is me, sweetie, unbothered by your irrelevant ugly ass. Go to bed. That's right. Gigi Hadid and f***ing Zane from One Direction, genuine celebrities. This, my friends, this is what happens when YouTube celebrities interact with real celebrities. They get put in their f***ing place. R slash legal advice UK. How loudly can I play pornography in my own home? Long story short, neighbors above moved in with a bunch of kids and a child that cries extremely loudly every night above my room specifically. Talk to them, and they're like, well, you know, that's what kids are like. Let's say I was to hypothetically blast hardcore pornography at high volumes at various hours of the day until they get the message or soundproof the room or whatever. Would I be running afoul of any laws? What about having loud s*** every night? Now, I know you said uh, hypothetically, but I deal with people who actually do stuff like this every day. And if a person asked this question seriously, then uh, hypothetically, of course, I would say... Are you seriously contemplating lowering yourself to the level of an infant? No, 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 sorry. The difference between you and the child is that the child lacks object permanence. It has no idea who you are, that you exist, or how it's annoying the people around it. Whereas you know about all of these things and you're choosing to do it. Not in spite of those issues, but because of them. The annoyance is the aim you're setting out to achieve. Your behavior would actually be worse than the infant's. What lesson are you hoping this child will extract from your actions? How does this improve your life? Do you think that the parents will be more inclined to deal with you reasonably once you've started this plan? What I'm asking, I suppose, is how you got your personality disorder? I'd be looking to prosecute you for harassment contrary to Section 2 of the Protection from Harassment Act of 1997. Hypothetically, of course. Thankfully, though, I don't need to say any of that to you because you're not pond scum. You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. Oh, narcissism ain't cute, sis. <laughs> I get it. I get it. There's literally no possible response I can make to this where I come out a winner. I've actually never been owned this hard before. I think I legally owe you money now. A guy asked me out today and I told him no, but I really wanted him to try harder. Why didn't he try again? Well, a girl asked me what I wanted for lunch and I said pizza, but I really wanted steak. Why did she bring me pizza? Do you see how stupid that question sounds? That's how your question sounds. Insert office meme about the two pictures being the same. Okay, but you literally just judged all Nazis as assholes. My grandfather, my grandmother, their families and friends were all involved with the party. 
They're also some of the kindest, most wonderful people I've met, yet you've already judged them based on a group generalization. I'd love to introduce them to my great-grandparents, but they were gassed in a concentration camp. Oh yeah, but I'm sure they're great. Historians do have a word for Germans who joined the Nazi party, not because they hated Jews, but out of a hope for restored patriotism, or a sense of economic anxiety, or a hope to preserve their religious values, or a dislike of their opponents, or raw political opportunism, or convenience, or ignorance, or greed. That word is Nazi. Nobody cares about their motives anymore. Yeah, you probably shouldn't send out a tweet that says, not to defend Nazis, but... I congratulated a friend on his new baby on Instagram and his wife immediately sent me a message asking how I knew him. I was his Sunday school teacher 25 years ago. Calm down, Brittany. Well, postpartum hormones are no joke, y'all. Let Brittany have a moment. Well, considering the fact that if a man did this, you'd have women cackling like a witch's coven over this saying how much of an insecure trash bag he is, I think it's safe to say that we can give Brittany a little bit of advice on what not to do when someone of the same sex comments on her husband's pictures. Let's not go into 2020 being fools. Phone flipped over means either you hiding something or you're cheating. No, I flip my phone over to let you insecure fools know I'm focused on you. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You know, if my phone happens to be out on the table during a meal, I'll flip it over to make sure that anyone I'm with knows that I'm not just, you know, staring at the screen the whole time. I'm listening to the conversation. Uh, I get the joke, right? But what's the picture they included? It's just a man eating food? Am I supposed to see something here? Should I be looking for... Oh, the phone! Flipped over like the post says. I would totally 100% absolutely have missed the subject of both this image and the text that precedes it were it not for the incredibly helpful red circle that some dumbass meme page added. Wow, man, fuck this shit. I'm about to start adding red circles everywhere just for the hell of it.